So if you're running an eBay business, you know that it's so much fun to treasure hunt. It's a blast to go out and find new items. For me personally, I even love studying the sold listings. I love to know like, wow, like I could find that, you know, that specific clothing item and it's gonna sell for $180 or, oh my God, I can't believe that old blockbuster cases that used to house the VHSs, those things sell for like 18 bucks. Like that's exciting to me, right? But the challenge is dealing with what do you do when you have all these products? You go out, you find the items. And you know, if you're new, you might think to yourself like, there's no way I'm gonna find all this stuff at thrift stores and garage sales and auctions and estate sales. And if I put out a, a wanted ad, people aren't gonna call me. But if you actually try it, you're gonna realize that people do call you. It is easy to find this stuff, but the biggest challenge is actually listing items. Oh, you know, it's so easy to build that death pile, to source all those items, and that pile gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that feeling of dread of having to just list these items, it, it gets larger and larger. And I wanna talk about something that'll really help you out when it comes to selling on eBay. And that's to build the habit of listing. And I wanna give you like an actionable thing that you can actually do. So to take a step back, what most people do is they list, they list like twice a week. And you know, if you're trying to make like three to 5,000 a month, you're gonna probably have to list, you know, 40, 50, 60, maybe 100 items every couple weeks or so. Um, it could be more or less, right? It could be way less, it could be way more, depending on if you're flipping $3 profit items or $30 profit items, right? Um, I got a buddy who has a clothing store, his average uh, sale price is like 80 bucks. So he's more long tail. But anyways, what most people do is they dedicate a couple days and they list like 20, 30, 40 items a day. And they dread it, they hate it. And it starts reinforcing more and more and more I hate listing, I hate listing, I hate listing, I hate listing. And obviously the remedy to that, if you have the money and you have the business skills, is to find someone to do it for you. Um, but for most people who are probably watching this video, you're gonna do it yourself. So instead of listing like a couple times a week, you know, 30, 20, 30, 40 items and really hating it, just list like five, six, seven items a day. That's what I like to do. Um, when I was running my, my full-time eBay business, I would list 10 items a day. And while, you know, I obviously love treasure hunting. I love sourcing. I loved, you know, um, researching items and going to auctions and thrift stores. And now I've been starting to go to flea markets. I didn't hate it as much. And you really want to build up that muscle of consistently listing. And it's like working out, right? I just got done with a workout. That's why I'm a hot mess right now. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. But when you start working out, or maybe running is a better example. When you start running, it's so hard. Your, your feet hurt, your back hurts, even your shoulders and everything hurts from just, just your body's not used to that positioning, right? You're sore um, and it's not enjoyable. A lot of people who never run and they don't run often, like I have friends of mine who are like, why do you enjoy running? Like, why do you love it? For me, it's peaceful. It's, it's like meditation, it's enjoyable. I love the sweat. I love being out in mother nature and hearing the sounds and the smells and the fresh air. But when you first start running, it's miserable because you're just focused on the pain. It's hard, your muscles haven't adapted. And it's the same with listing on eBay, right? Um, it's probably never gonna be as enjoyable as running for me, but it gets a lot easier because you build up that muscle of listing. You're consistently listing, it becomes easier. Um, and on top of that, you build out systems, like your photography station gets um, more fine-tuned. Your listing process becomes more fine-tuned. You're able to kind of find little hacks to be able to list quicker and easier and more effortless. And when you only list a couple times a week, you, it's kind of tough to get into that groove. It's kind of tough to get that momentum going. So I recommend if you're new to eBay or you've been doing it for like maybe less than a year and you hate it, maybe you've been doing it for 10 years and you hate it and you've, you're in that routine and that habit of listing just a couple times a week, I'd recommend just breaking it up. If you're listing, you know, 100 items a week instead of doing 50 items twice a week which is a lot of items congrats if you're doing that you know maybe break it up to 10 15 items a day or maybe you just do five times a week because you want to build that that muscle and i found that it's it's a lot easier to build the muscle especially with working out if you do less but more often right you're kind of getting the blood flowing more often in your mind and your body however you want to make that analogy um but yeah Obviously, listing is the lifeblood of an eBay business. You've got to list. Of course, you can't list if you don't find items. So you got to find items. But I feel like for anybody, and you know, let me know in the comments down below, it's easy to find items, right? It's so simple. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Obviously, if you're brand new to reselling, it's going to be hard. 
I remember when I was uh, new and I went into thrift stores, I was running my, I was trying to, to, to build my clothing business. I went in looking for two brands. I talked about this all the time. I looked for the territory ahead and I looked for Pendleton. If they weren't there, I left. It was hard. It was a little frustrating. But as I studied the sold listings, um, watched YouTube videos, gained mentorship, those two brands went to three, to five, to 10, to 100. Then I learned about all different types of items. So at first it's kind of challenging to find the items, but you'll learn quite easily that the challenge is never in finding the items, especially if you're only doing like two to 3,000 a month and sales are up to 5,000 a month in sales. Once you go higher than that, um, it does become more challenging because you need more products consistently and you're trying to juggle like consistently listing 10, 20 items a day with like having enough inventory coming in. That's, that's another topic, but um, I wanna really keep this topic, you know, laser pointed and centered on the fact that I think it's better to list every day less versus a whole bunch, maybe once or twice a week. So let me know in the comments what you believe, what your thoughts are. I, uh, I'm getting ready today, right here you can see, to build a fire pit. I just threw that there because I was trying to burn out the stumps that were there. But uh, I'm gonna be digging up my yard, laying down some pea gravel, building it out. So if you guys haven't seen my backyard, I got it fenced in. I love it. I wish I would have bought my own house so much longer ago. I really, you know, I've, I've got rental properties, but it feels so good having a uh, having a house. It's great, and I got a little balcony above my my bedroom, which is cool. So much love. Let me know your thoughts, and have a great weekend. Bye.